coming up next, the winter, the song rather, the Winter Olympic Games, and we're going to meet the singer who wrote it. Stay with us, everybody. First model, and this is Cynthia. Tell me what Cynthia is wearing. Cynthia is again with our first model, and this is Cynthia. Tell me what Cynthia is wearing. Cynthia is doing the boat. <laughs> Right? 20 you. years old, I got a little beard here. It's kind of pathetic. Absolutely. How are you? Hair. I'm, I'm all grows up now. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's amazing. The, the people keep coming back and we keep staying here and they keep, you know. Oh, <laughs> that's what he's saying. But he's got Jim Belushi in this film who is helping you to get ready for, to take on this company. I want to be proactive. This yeah. is the all guy right. who wants to be proactive. Here's the same with Jim and Tim. of so many of my son's toys. That's yeah. right. To that's infinity. That's Indiana. right. You yeah. were the... Oh, good to see you again, Benny. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the renegade Latin icon Miguel Panero in the new movie Panero. Here's the tall, talented, and handsome Benjamin Bratt. <laughs> Is she being interesting? How very interesting. <laughs> Well, those little hot dogs sure smell good. So I'm just going to sneak into the kitchen and get one. Does anyone want one? I'll have one. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I am the host here, and I will get anybody that wants a hot dog a hot dog, okay? <laughs> so are you going to get those hot dogs or what? <laughs> oh, yeah, leave you two alone together, you wish. Okay. Eddie? Supreme Court to the Simpsons. Can I make that turn? <laughs> sure. Why not? I do. <laughs> you do. In fact, let's take a look at you. Well, you've got a recurring role in the Simpsons. Right. right? Why not? I do. <laughs> you do. In fact, let's take a look at you. Well, you've got a recurring role in the Simpsons. Right. right? All mm -hmm. right. Let's take a look. Okay. There's a DVD player right DVD here. DVD up there. This right. is a great... Right can I just tell you why this function is so great with what? the seat? Look, the seat moves up close to you, right? Uh -huh. So you know when you threaten your kids, you're like, I'm going to come back there and give you a reason to cry. <laughs> Look how close they are. That's you right. don't even have to turn around. You could reach them. <laughs> it's perfect. What do we have and here? Then, and this is Oscar uh, weekend for you, Claudia, and for, uh, for Kelly. So my, my own little tribute, if I may, to, uh, to Russell goes something like this. Oh. <clears throat> well, there's really no big secret to success in Hollywood. You have to get a mate. You say no, 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 no. Well, you're only tempting fate, mate. Don't introduce your date to Russell. <laughs> Coming in and talking and clarifying some stuff that has been swirling around in the media. I think it's very important. Thanks so much. Well, and of course, the author of Beautiful Mind, which must be doing very, very well in bookstores right now. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> the book unhappy kids are healthy kids well every place i go oh being so silent when it comes to disagreeing with the bush administration and its policies does he agree with that yeah which is very exciting what should what can martin brent cudahy chandler montgomery <laughs> montgomery <laughs> chandler merrick merrick has been married nine times <laughs> Good to see you. Tony Lowe. <laughs> Tony, Tony Lowe was he what? went to lunch in Minnelli's wedding. I know. Tony Lowe was he what? went to lunch in Minnelli's wedding. I'm lost with all this, but not you, you she's sir. She's a fan. She's an actress. She's a good actress. That's what she was saying. Right. Let's take a look at a scene. Now, here you are. Uh, you yes. run into the legendary uh, Charlie Chaplin right. in this particular scene, played by... In this protection program. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Fran. You don't need... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need to clean in here? <laughs> the, you got to be kidding is Bob Woodruff, and he's here now. So somebody sitting and says, okay, Alzheimer's research or squirrel sex. Mondays at 9 p.m. on the WB. We'll be right back. If you'd like to know more about anything you've seen on... Sandra Bullock. Is he Sandra Bullock? 
I'm going to be racing for Kelly Racing, and Home Ed Pharmacy is, is my sponsor. I got a great sponsor. You know, pornographic was the term that kept coming up. So that happened in 1985. Yeah. Why a movie about it all these many years later? Well, you know, it's sort of. So that happened in 1985. Yeah. Why a movie about it all these many years later? Well, you know, Michael Skakel uh, committed this crime. It's the fact that it happened so many years. Recent uh, tragic events regarding uh, Daniel right. Pearl and other journalists. Right, but. You know, I think the great thing about the about um, you know, any, anything, <laughs> Did it? anything. Listen, let's talk about your your Shame film. Yep. Triumph of Love. Yep. It's based on a French play. Mm. You play a philosopher. Yep. Triumph of Love. Yep. It's based on a French play. Mm. You for that, and I end up getting grief anyway. It doesn't matter anyway. But it is chillier than normal here on yes, a Tuesday is. morning. Al tells us it's going to warm up a little bit today, and then a little better later in the week. Inside Studio One A, I'm Matt Lauer, along with the sarcastic one, Al Roker, and Katie Couric. I'm here for you. I'm supportive. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm here for you. <laughs> Closed captioning spot. <laughs> it's actually something that Kathy Bates, who was directing the episode, had on set that day. Whenever right. she needed people to laugh, she would use Kelly it. Kelly goes around with one of those all the time. <laughs> yeah. At least I think it's a machine. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Regis doesn't need one at all. <laughs> Back to Mike a little bit. 30s, you really have rather few left, and the ones that are there are often defective. You know, it was interesting to me to read about you, Ms. Hewitt. Is this is not the book you but of course we're out of time. The uh -huh. book is called The Soul's Religion. Thomas Moore, thank you for thank joining you. us this thank morning. You. Now here's the afternoon.